In this video, we'll be going over the nudge and remark functions on an AFS Pro 700 display. To begin, we'll go to our run screens and we'll go to our guidance tab. And what we want to do now is lock on to one of our swaths. If you are in a mid-range combine before you engage auto guidance, you need to have your separator turned on. In a flagship, you should be able just to lock onto a line. So once our separator is on, because we're in a mid-range combine, we'll go ahead and we'll engage our auto guidance and we will begin moving towards one of these swaths. Once that begins to happen, if we feel we are too far to the left or the right, we can select our nudge function and we can either move to the right or to the left, however many inches we desire. We'll go ahead and leave that at zero. If you'd like to remark your lines, what you want to do is get to the position that you want to remark your lines at. And once you're in the position where you want to remark your lines, you'll go ahead and select remark. And either you can set to current or you can edit your current swaths. So we'll go ahead and select set to current. And you can see it adjusted all of our swaths to our current location. The remark function will move all of the lines that you currently see on your display. The nudge function will move you over to the left or the right depending on what you have set on the swath that you are currently following. When you go to turn around at the end of your field and you are using the nudge function, this may cause some overlap issues. So the nudge function is something that may require a little bit more surveillance than the remark function. And that is how you use the nudge and remark functions on an AFS Pro 700 display.